Hello students, we are going to discuss the topic of cross-border alliances. We are discussing cross-border alliances in the context of international human resource management. But before we talk about uh, human resource management issues in cross-border alliances, we first of all would like to know what cross-border alliances are. Sada alfaz mein cross-border alliances aise firms hain jo ke mukhtalif countries se belong karte hain and they come together means alliance and they ally together to work for the benefit of each other. So partnerships which are across national borders, they are called cross-border alliances. That is the simple definition of what cross-border alliances are. But the academic definition of cross-border alliances is uh, that these are cooperative agreements between two or more firms from different national backgrounds which are intended to benefit all partners. So it could be two firms from different countries or two or more from two or more different countries coming together and uh, making a cooperative partnership which is supposed to benefit all the members. Uh, you know that because of globalization, yes, that's the word, globalization, that is our main reason behind internationalization of the firms. And globalization has led to a number of international dynamics in business and one of these dynamics has resulted in cross-border alliances. Now, there are a number of ways in which these cross-border alliances can be formed and they can operate. Uh, there are equity modes of cross-border alliances and non-equity modes. And then there are other which are a mixture of equity and non-equity modes. Now, uh, let us take a look at what are these different modes of making cross-border alliances. All right, so uh, non-equity alliances are those partnerships in uh, which it is an investment vehicle in which profits and other responsibilities are assigned to each party according to a contract. Uh, इस तरह की पार्टनरशिप में आप अपनी लीगल एंटिटी जो है उसको मर्ज नहीं करते दोनों फॉर्म्स की लीगल एंटिटी सेपरेटली रहती है विच मींस दैट अगर आपको फॉर एग्जांपल बैंक्रप्सी हो जाती है या लॉसेस हो जाते हैं तो आप एक कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के बियॉन्ड उन लॉसेस को बियर नहीं करेंगे अगर एक फर्म की कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में ये है कि ही दैट फर्म इज गोइंग टू शेयर लेट्स से 30% ऑफ द प्रॉफिट एंड नॉट द लॉसेस द रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज देन आर ऑन द अदर फर्म टू शेयर द लॉसेस सो जो एंटिटी है जो उसकी एग्जिस्टेंस है फर्म की वो आपस में मर्ज नहीं करती इट रिमेन्स सेपरेट एंड बोथ द फर्म्स दे सेपरेटली ऑपरेट एज अ लीगल एंटिटी and uh, but they work for some common benefits so iski example ye ho sakti hai ke franchise ya for example aap license de sakte hain so jo licensing company hai uh, jo license obtain karta hai uski zimmedari hai ke usne a firm ko chalana hai usko profitable banana hai aur agar firm flop ho jati hai to license dene wali company का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नहीं है कि वो जो लाइसेंस लेने वाली कंपनी है उसके लॉसेस को बेयर करे लाइसेंस लेने वाली कंपनी जो है वो लाइसेंसिंग कंपनी को कुछ फीस या एक प्रॉफिट में शेयर या जो भी उनका आपस में कॉन्ट्रैक्ट तय होता है जैसे कि हमने बात की अकॉर्डिंग टू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दे आर सपोज टू पे दैम अकॉर्डिंगली बट दे विल नॉट शेयर द लीगल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी so that is a non equity alliance and each party cooperates as a separate legal entity and bears its own liabilities the second mode of uh, 
forming alliances is equity alliances. Now, equity alliances is the opposite of non-equity alliances. And in these type of alliances, you go for sharing all the profit and losses of the organization. So it means that you get merged together and you become one new entity. All right. So equity modes involve a foreign direct investors purchase of shares of an enterprise in a country other than its own. So it could be uh, it could be done in three ways. Uh, it could be greenfield investments or acquisitions. Uh, it could be mergers or it could be international joint ventures. What are these three different types? We are going to discuss it in later uh, topics. And um, then merger and uh, um, international joint ventures, they involve long-term uh, collaborative strategies, including HR practice. So when you merge together, when you are uh, forming a new entity, then you have to make strategies for all aspects of your business because your profits and losses are all going to be shared together. So you need to operate as a single entity. And therefore, it is going to be a long-term collaborative thing in which you make strategies, in, um, including human resource strategies. All right, so in this diagram, uh, you can see that there are different forms of equity and non-equity modes of foreign operations. Uh, you can see that the white boxes are equity modes and uh, the light blue boxes are non-equity modes. And the third dark blue box is the other forms of cross-border alliance. So you can see in uh, the white boxes, there are mergers and acquisitions. Then there are international joint ventures. And thirdly, there are subsidiaries. You may remember from your previous topics what subsidiaries are. And we are going to discuss in next topics what are joint ventures and mergers and acquisitions. A small uh, discussion on the non-equity modes of uh, aliancing because later on we are not going to take them up separately. There could be subcontracting in which there could be offshoring and outsourcing. Now offshoring and outsourcing, they are kind of similar concepts. Outsourcing mein aap ye karte hain ke aap kisi bahir ki company se services purchase karte hain. This is also a type of offshoring. Offshoring is a larger concept. But offshoring is particularly when you make your facilities in another country, for example, production facilities uh, in another country. For example, Nike used to get its um, products prepared in Pakistan because of uh, low labor costs. That is offshoring. Then you can go for franchising. Franchising is mode of uh, non-equity cross-border alliance in which the franchising organization, it takes the responsibility of setting up the entire management system of an organization. So your franchise provide karta hai, wo aapko pura business set up karke deta hai. Whereas licensing is a lesser intrusive form of cross-border alliance in which the licensor provides the license to operate under the logo of that licensing organization, but they do not interfere in the day-to-day -day activities or the management of the organization. And then there could be management contracts in which the organization can provide management facilities to a firm in uh, a different country. For example, this is very much common in the hotel industry. You may know the name of Pearl Continental, which is a chain of hotels held in Pakistan under the umbrella of uh, intercontinental hotels. So the management is provided by the intercontinental hotels, but the legal entity of Pearl Continental Hotel is uh, restricted to Pakistan only. So that is one example of management contracts. All right, so these are the different types of 
equity and non-equity modes of cross-border alliances.